Hello everyone and welcome back. Of course, we're here at Emo. It's day two and we're on the Smex stand, aren't we? It looks pretty good. It does 677 square meters, their biggest stand in the history Ever. of the company. Some statement for them at in Emo. Europe, which is what this show is all about for them. Yeah, absolutely. And we're going to take you on a little tour around all of their technology. And before you see it, you're not allowed to see it yet. Um, there's a really, should we say, good looking, aesthetically pleasing machine right next to me. There is. There's the STX, which we, we, we'll talk about that <laughs> in a minute. But we're going to try to sort of cover all of the technology. Oh, there's about 14 or 15 machines 15 on machines. here. But come back tomorrow if you want to hear from the guys from Schmeck directly, because I know yeah. that tomorrow you'll be doing a live stream with one of them. Yeah, but don't um, put so you're, so you're going to so you're gonna have to rely on my knowledge for this one, which <laughs> I'm not sure is going to be as good as theirs tomorrow. Oh, don't downplay it. No, yeah. it's going to be good. Show was good yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Emo is immense. Wherever you're coming from in the world, I, I think it did about 18,000 steps yesterday. I think the thing is with this show, you could miss so much. If you only came for a day or in two days, you'd go home going, someone would say, do you see that stand? And you'd go, oh, no, I didn't see that because there is so much here. I don't know whether that's a good thing or a, a bad thing that you missed stuff. I don't know, but it's, a, it's an amazing uh, place. I wouldn't to know where to start. I think that's the thing with Emo for me is where do you begin? Like when you walk in through the entrance, which are like the choice, actually choice is something I do want to come on to. I know it's a little bit, you know, we're, we're pushing this, but this is what I think is a key takeaway from this, is the choice of yeah. machines yeah. and flexibility and of choice. What strikes me is when you come to a show like this as well, is that there's so many brands and products I've never even heard yes. of. I yes. look and I go, well, you know, I didn't realise that that even existed. Well, you, you know, walking around and go, what the, what yeah, the? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I, I think that MTD's kind of seen everything, but it hasn't, yeah. you know, there's so much, so much more to see. No. So. Um, we came off the aeroplane. And the first thing that we saw when we came off the aeroplane was Smex signage everywhere. We walked off the flight, we've got pictures, and then you were getting our luggage and there was a great big LED wall of Schmeck. Then we got in the taxi and it's almost, they're not like flags, but they're, you know, on each lamppost and it goes, Smeck, Smeck, Smeck. I've got a video on my phone. Billboards. Billboards, yeah, but they, they Billboards. weren't there. They're on the side of a lamppost. Yeah, yeah. And it is incredible. They're really, really pushing yeah. themselves in Europe, it, it's, it's a big statement for them. This, this week is a big statement. And what you're going to see now is, is, is clearly part of that. Should yeah. we have a look at this machine? Look, come on, are we allowed? We're there, we're there, we're there. Fire okay. away. This is the STX. 2600 now this is a good looking machine isn't yeah. it now this is there the first time this machine has been uh, seen multitasking technology yeah you know we go to a lot of schmeck customers in the uk we've never seen one with one of these because they haven't been able to get one but no, now Premier. they can so here you're talking about two spindles you've got a bottom turret on this machine you've got a very capable milling spindle on here as well which basically means one hit machining multitasking operations Schmeck are now in that business with the STX 2000 STX 2600 but they've always been known from our case studies that we've done about heavy duty that's what I think of when I think of Schmeck yeah yeah um, yeah powerful rugged robust robust absolutely but also there, but... multi-axis as well which is what you see here so we've got yeah. the NS 1600 T2 Y2 now this machine is a twin spindle, twin turret, twin Y-axis. <laughs> Any more twins? You know, yeah. It, it, it is a machine that's immensely capable of producing uh, complex parts in one operation quickly. So again, you go from multitasking to twin turret technology. Yeah, two very capable machines. In the UK, personally, from my experience, we don't see very many. We've seen them in a few machine shops, but vertical turning centres. No, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. And, and there's a reason for that, because, you know, with machines like this, in this instance, you have to take parts off of them. And, you, you know, the automation element is not the same as a horizontal lane. Yeah. Because you've got bar feeds and you've, you know, do you know what I mean? You can yeah. kind of see. Whereas with this, a vertical lathe, okay, you're putting the part on a chuck, um, you're turning the, the, the part, so it's, it, okay, the smaller footprint, which is, it, yeah. it is, of course, where the big advantage to vertical lathes lie, and the small fall away, which is a big advantage to where vertical lathes lie. Yes. Um, but on this, in this particular instance here, you've got an automatic tool changer on the side as well, so you can actually, um, you know, you can change 
tools in the turret as well, so you've got more flexibility. But this is a new model, advanced upgrade, more power, um, you know, more, more weight, more torque, all those yeah. types of things. I think flexibility is something that's really, like, you know, when we're, we're speaking to the, spoken to the team here, flexibility is something they're using across the board, different control systems. They are. Um, they use it, it, it's choice. I think that's what he said quite a few times. So we're trying to give people options. It's the integration with partners, and we'll see in a minute automation that is Schmeck automation. Yes. But then we're seeing here automation, which is, like you say, it's it's from one of their partners. And this Interoperability, is, would you say? Is that the right word or not? If there is such a word, I don't know. Um, your <laughs> dictionary is better than mine. But uh, yeah, you're looking here at uh, an automation solution, a draw system, where you've got multiples of parts you're loading in and out, of course. But the focus here should be these five axis machines. Absolutely. The so MVF is uh, another premiere from Schmeck this week. And you'll talk to the guys in more detail on tomorrow's live. Yeah. But here you've got two models of a five-axis machine. Um, here you've got the Siemens, the new Siemens control yes. on them as well, which is a talking point that we, when we w did a sort of pre-rehearsal, we were talking to the guys here, and they were they were talking about the differences in the control options. You've got Fanuc, Siemens, Mitsubishi. Mitsubishi. Um, here you've got a turn-in centre, the SL3500, upgraded power, a big BMT turret. Uh, you've got another turning centre here, the SL3000. Now, we're, we're quite familiar with that type of machine yeah. because there's a lot of them in the, in the UK market. Um, but they're obviously presenting everything, you know, here on, on the stand this week within the sort of 15, 14, um, there's 15 something machines. Here. Oh, sorry, Paul. Um, something here as well, again, flexibility, box guideways, linear guideways. Yeah, so th this machine's quite interesting because you've got, you, you've got a subspindle machine, you've got the um, automation solution here, which is, as we see, it's a SMEC. So we, we, we mentioned earlier about automation being available from their partners as well, but of course they've got their own integrated automation solutions here as well. Yes, uh, um, and we're, as I said, you know, you, the machines are, one's box guideways, one's um, linear. Again, it's choice, and he was, it was quite interesting because Michael spoke to us earlier, and he, it's preference, isn't it? It's what, uh, which one's faster, which one, what are you after? Are you I after I mean, the, the, the difference time? is sometimes you know, we talk about them, but the differences are quite, you know, not that sizable in some instances. But here, for me, you're looking at a machine here that can produce parts in one hit, and that's the key that's here. What it's, you're about, after. it's about not having your operator involved to, to a minimum, uh, to a minimal degree, so they're not actually having to, you know, to, to, to be involved in the process. And yeah, you've got two machines here, an industrial robot there, and of course, an industrial robot here. Um, to Schmeck Automation Solutions. And now, this part is absolutely massive. This is a five meter heavy duty turning center. It Look is. at the size of this part. Yeah. This is and, massive. And, and, and Schmeck are one of the only companies that yep. offer a machine like this with a five meter turning leg. Five meter, leg. Five meter turning leg. And they're actually live cutting here at the show. So you can actually see, if you want to come here to this stand, you can see chips being machined. I won't want to touch it because I'd cut myself, Don't. but uh, yeah, you can see this machine here in action. And it's just what, I mean, again, the oil Look and gas size. industry, yeah. you know, for sizable, heavy weight, uh, you know, heavy duty machining, that is a, a, a you know, a perfect option. Um, we're going to sort of conclude our technology tour here, but don't forget tomorrow morning we'll be live from this stand with a representative from Schmeck. Here we've got what they class as their tapping centers. Yes. And there's three of them here, uh, 4,200, the Q4200 machines. What's interesting here is you've got Fanuc, you've got Siemens, and then you've got Mitsubishi. So you've got representation from three control solutions, which really, you know, sometimes people buy machines, they go, it's the ideal machine, but it might not be the right control system. Yeah. But here it's, okay, it's the right machine. I want this control system because that's what I'm familiar with. Here, that's of course available with um, the tapping centers. I think it's quite nice as well. It's not, we won't go into too much detail here, but he was saying that there's little tiny differences that, you know, kind of tick people's boxes yeah, 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 of what fine. they're after, what, what control, yeah. one might be a little bit faster, one might be well, a bit slower, and it's what your needs are. Correct, I mean, you've got the, the he was saying that the turret indexing time on the different control systems varies. Yeah. You know, but, but of course it would do because they've got different processing speeds and all the rest of it, but it's about the choice. It, that's what is, it is. is. I think if, you, if there's one thing that you've taken away from being on the SMEC stand is that they are here 
they're certainly here to stay, look at the size of the stand, yeah. but also is they're offering flexibility with their heavy duty machines as Correct. well. Yeah, it's, yeah? It, it's, it's real, real choice. And as I say, come back tomorrow, you'll be talking to either Michael or, or Hunter, Hunter maybe, yeah. um, and, and you know, you'll be able to catch up and learn more about this technology then. Absolutely brilliant.